morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Well, that's the day we're filming this on. Um, as you saw in our last video, Avery is in the chopper today. Um, I come to the farm every Saturday morning to uh, push up calves from the new calves that we picked up to put them in their robot. So I'll show you guys that this morning. And then Avery will show you a little bit of chopping today. And then we also have another crew combining corn. So. Welcome to New Age Custom Farming on a Saturday. Okay, Greggy, how you doing this morning? Good. You're supposed to say finer than a frog's hair. What's that? You're supposed to say finer than a frog's hair. Finer than a frog's hair? Yep. Well, I don't know, it doesn't look good here. It looks like the speed sensor's not working in the chopper again. One mile an hour, I think. We have to pull the processor out to fix it. It was working yesterday when we put it away, and now this morning. It's, it's not bad. working? Oh, no. We're gonna have fun with that. <laughs> You guys hungry? We've shared this before, but this is our auto feeder, and so each calf comes up to here, 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 or right there to drink, and then we can tell on here who's drinking and how much they have left to drink. Um, and so what I do is I, every Saturday morning we have our list. Also, please appreciate all this fly poop on this notebook. We have a list of calves that we just picked up. So these are the calves we picked up yesterday that we need to make sure that they know how to use the auto feeder. So I will put them up into their, um, where they can drink from. One thing that I like to point out when I'm in the calf barn is how quiet it is in here. So I'm going to stop talking and I want you guys to listen. One thing that I teach the little kids at farm camp and other people when I give farm tours is you're really not going to hear cattle making noise unless they're hurt, hungry, or age. They want to make babies, essentially. So they are, you know, you can figure out what the other age word is. 
but so on Saturday mornings you might hear some calves in here bellowing but that's because of the new calves that we just picked up and they are hungry and so that's why we have to help them find the robot but otherwise it's pretty quiet in here it's pretty peaceful Send Ben to get the speed sensor. How it breaks in the shed sitting overnight. Yeah, Nobody I mean, knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. Gremlins, but we have to take the processor out to get in the top of the transmission to put it in. So uh, that's the plan. And how's it going right now? Pretty moldy and dusty, you know, a month. The corn silage juice in there is pretty stinky. But uh, we'll get it. We always do. Should be able to start it up now and just see see what it's doing if it says zero we should because it was saying 0. 0.6 before even we weren't moving well yeah i think you move back and forth a little bit but I get it yeah here. plug it in and see what happens And it's, I was wondering what metal meant. So it's if there's metal touching the sensor? Yeah. Well, now you know for next time. The more you know. Wow. Is your chopper all fixed? Well, no.
good. What? What? Still ain't working. It's still not working? No. It's like jumping all over the place. Yeah. Saturday morning routine is typically to uh, um, come to the farm, push up the calves, and then we run home. I'm going to leave the boys to this fun of figuring out the chopper. Bree and I are going to run up to our house from the farm. We'll be back later to check in on them. Bree and I are here trying to find Avery to bring him lunch and see like what's going on. And he told me the name of the farm or the name of the fields and who we're chopping for. And I think I'm at the right place. And there's definitely corn being chopped here, but I don't see the chopper anywhere. And I don't know if I should just drive around and keep looking for it or what. That's just one of the most awkward things I feel like for custom farming for us, at least for me, is like, I just pull into farms and I'm like looking for the boys. And I'm like, I promise I'm not this like creepy person. I'm not like here to do anything to your farm. I mean, obviously a lot of the people know who I am and stuff, but still it's just like, hi, just looking for my man. I think we're gonna go drive around and try and find him. All right, I do know I am in the right spot because that's one of our wagons and Ben, who is actually one of my best friend's brothers and works for us or helps us. So I do know I'm in the right spot. I'm just curious then if Avery's gonna come all the way around here or not. Ben's obviously on like looking for him and going to get to, going to get him, so I don't know. Also, you might be wondering why aren't you just calling Avery? That's because we have zero service here. Welcome to the boonies of Wisconsin, where we just lose service a lot. Um so yeah, at least I'm in the right spot. This is our soda of choice. And it's a rule that I always get the first sip of Avery's, so. <sighs> Crispy! And I hear the tractor coming and I see the spout of the chopper over the corn. So we're in the right spot. I see there's a drink out of the sun drop. Yeah, I get one sip. Everybody knows the rules. Is that the tax? Yeah, also, can you take Brie? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll go get her. Just a boy and his dog going off to work. Well, I was going back to ride out with Avery, and as I was driving out there, I passed where Mason's combining, and I can hear him. He's gonna come out here somewhere. <laughs> we'll have in with him because we all know he won't pull out a camera and videotape himself. So let's get a little status update for Mason. I'm really curious where he's gonna pop out though. There he is. Let's see if he sees me to get in with him. No. <laughs> He's turning the other way. Or maybe he will. 
if you guys remember the corn that we chopped earlier this year, I'm five foot two and it was like up to here on me. This corn is much, much better. Although this stuff was underneath uh, pivot all summer. So it obviously was able to get water when it needed it. But we're harvesting. It's good corn, at least tall. Oh, we'll have to ask Mason about the yields. Mason, what's the status of this situation? Um, it's green, <laughs> corn. We're trying to combine corn silage essentially right now? Yeah, we're, we're done with this field. <laughs> What's the moisture? Uh, it's averaging 26, but it's like 30 and 32 in places, so that's 50. Well, this is irrigated, and it rained earlier this week, too, so it's going to be like good big corn, it, right? It's, it's really good corn. It's just I can't keep it in the combine. It's just too good for this time of year. Yeah. Well, yeah. well we want to wait to make sure it stays good. It's too green, so you can't separate. The, the combine cannot separate them the plant and the corn. So the leaves are too green and the stalk's too green so all the corn sits on top of that in the sieves and it can't, it just rides out the back. So we're losing all the big corn. We're losing the profit, the slim margin of profit. <laughs> can't you run this pivot from your phone? Yeah, what are we gonna do, sit here for an hour? Well, no, but. Your bag, go lift it up and move it. Yeah, or just run into it. It's not all the way to the trees. That is, the, my, what I mean, like <laughs> all the way to the trees, and if you say no, it means that I can get around it. Let me think, yeah, I definitely can't get around that. <laughs> Yeah, Mason and his meat hands putting that flight, auger flight in back where it's supposed to be. Now he's just taking his crash out with his finishing hammer. You got Greggy trying to start his welder. <laughs> it doesn't sound very healthy. <laughs> I don't think that thing's going to Look at him. Hammer that thing. You want to... You want a crescent wrench to put on that? Now what are you doing? Fighting back on the auger there. No, I know, but you two are doing Oh, that auger got bent, or that uh, <laughs> PTO shaft got bent, <laughs> so we got a new one. Wow. Somebody who shouldn't have been running the green cart ran it and bent it. You know, it's all about who taught me. You. <laughs> Okay, and that's it for another day of harvest. I can't guarantee we're gonna do a video every single day of harvest. They'll probably be combined into some, but this is our third day of videotaping stuff in a row. So there's that at least. What do you have to say? Mm, some good days of harvesting. 
some carnage. Oh, also, yeah, we did just leave Greggy and Mason in the field to deal with the head. Hopefully, it, they're done anyway. Hopefully, it's fine. I asked him if I could leave, and he said yes. Yeah, so I think we're gonna head down to it's World Dairy Expo this upcoming week, and so some of my friends from college and roommates and stuff are in Madison. So I think we're going to do going to go do that and hang out with them. So thanks for firing with us. See you next time. Do some High blessings. Hi, kick. <sighs> Your hip hop. <laughs> <laughs>